Okay, guys, welcome back to Into the Infinity Verse, where I talk about the uh, fan fiction universe that my friend Jason Voorhees 2011 and I have come up with called the Infinity Verse. Now, before I go any further with this, I know uh, updates for have, have been slow, but that's because Jason and I have been really frickin' busy. Also, this new fanfiction policy with cookie sharing, I don't know what that's all about, so that's kind of making us a little leery. So we want to step, take a step back, and not only, like, do a little more planning with the Infinity-verse, but also, um, but also, like, see how this plays out. Also, keep in mind, guys, I know people have been asking for updates on the Infinity-verse, but keep in mind, this is fanfiction, it's not real, and we don't get paid to do this. So, and we have our own lives. You know, Jason and I have our own lives. So that does put a hamper on everything. But don't worry, we are making, we are still making stuff for it. We haven't forgotten about it. We are still making stuff for this universe. Uh, for this shared fanfiction universe. So, there you go. Anyway, um, so, uh, let's talk a bit about the, uh, uh, some more stuff from Into the Infinity-verse, and today I'm going to be focusing on, this video is going to be focusing on the romances of the Infinity-verse. Uh, yeah, I'm going to be focusing primarily on the romances that come out of the Infinity-verse, so, yeah, we do have a lot of ships, and it's kind of funny that, they, you know, these are our ships for the Infinity-verse, and yeah, there are a few, and some of them are shocking, and some of them you're like, ah, I expected that. So anyway, let's get started with the biggest one, and this is actually something we showcased in the first story, uh, you know, New Frontier, and that is the relationship between Randy Cunningham, a.k.a. the ninja, and Alia, a.k.a. Raina Rouge. So, this relationship was kind of a crossover pairing that um, Jason kind of admitted he liked after seeing some of my videos, and we were just kind of talking, he was like, yeah, let's have them, you know, let's have them in a relationship in here. So, Alia and Randy are kind of like our, you know, our two big lovebirds, and everyone knows about, in this, in, in the Infinity-verse, everyone knows that uh, the ninja and Raina Rouge are dating. However... They're still as of the, as of now the two are you know as they're dating um, in the months they have been dating they haven't still haven't shown their identities to one another and there's a reason for that the reason being is because for Randy he wants to show his identity to her because his last relationship he did have a relationship with Teresa Fowler but it kind of uh, ended badly because he did he never told her that he was the ninja and she broke up with him because she he she felt like she was keeping a big secret from him. Alia, however, broke up with uh, Nino, a.k.a. Carapace, who is also on the Infinity League, the team they are a part of, and it, it, yes, it does get awkward between Carapace and the ninja <laughs> uh, at times. So, um, in the relationship, uh, you know, Alia broke it off with, uh, with uh, Nino in this, u in this universe because she felt like they knew too much, and that, you know, there have been, you know, they felt like they knew too much of their identities, and she felt like that was a danger that put in a strain that put on their relationship. So Randy wants to reveal his relationship, reveal his identity to her, and because you know his last girlfriend knew too little, but Alia, her past relationship knew too much. So they're kind of at odds with each other. But will they reveal each other's identity to, refer, to one another? Mm, hard to say. I'm not gonna say right now. So yes, um, it's also kind of funny because I brought this up to Jason one night, and I basically said, you know what? A lot of our relationships in these in the in the Infinity Verse are kind of like mirrors for um, uh, for comic book relationships, and this one kind is kind of starting out like Spider Man and Black Cat. But it's actually more like Green Arrow and, and Black Canary. It's more like Green Arrow. It's gonna. It's starting out as Spider-Man and Black Cat, but it's gonna evolve into Green Arrow and Black Canary. That's what it's gonna become, and not Arrow vs. Arrow, like you know the Oliver Queen we know. Anyway, so there, you know, there's that relationship. Following that, we have Dipper and Wendy. Yes, they are a couple in this relation in, in this universe. Um, this is also after. Um, in this universe, this is after the events of Gravity Falls, and yeah, Dipper and Wendy are in a relationship, and she does know, because if you guys watched the previous video of talking about Dipper becoming a pseudo-villain called, a, a not-real villain called the, the Red Talon, she doesn't know that he's the Red Talon, 
Plus, she also knows that she's been, he's been taking, he and Mabel have been taking this chemical called Chemical V that's been given to them by uh, Professor Utonium to help them train, because they, in this universe, they are training with April O'Neil in order to uh, be out there, you know, to have field missions. And yes, this is April from the 2012 cartoon. Anyway, so the big thing... So that's the uh, the other big thing is that uh, Wendy kind of acts like his guiding light and also is very protective of him and she and he's very protective of her um, and they're both incredibly loyal to each other in this universe. They're both very loyal. Um, Wendy will defend Dipper's actions as well as D w Dipper will defend Wendy's actions no matter what. In fact, when I was writing the uh, Dipper Pines one shot in the Infinity Verse spotlights, I had a scene where Wendy walks into Dipper's quarters on the, in Skyward Tower, the base for the Infinity League. They, um, she walks in on Gaz talking to Dipper after discovering the chemical V. She's like, she is so not your type. Because she knows, yeah, there's no way he is going to just uh, cheat on me. He's not that type of person. So, th so there's that. We also have, um, in terms of other relationships, we also have LT, Gray, and Zoe. We have Manny and Zoe, who... Manny and Zoe... Also, if you're wondering which relationship Dipper and Wendy are, they're kind of like Ant-Man and the Wasp, because Dipper is not exactly the most mentally stable. He's still dealing with shit. So they're kind of like Ant-Man and the Wasp, but without the wife beating. So yeah, they're, they're kind of like that relationship. It's... It's without the wife beating, though, because there's no way Dipper would hit Wendy and not get his ass kicked in the process. But anyway, so following that is Manny, uh, Manny and Zoe, who are pretty much the Batman and Catwoman of our of the universe. And Manny, while he is part of the Infinity League, Zoe is part of Black Hat's Society of Supervillains. And yeah, they're kind of at odds, but they have this relationship where they're in secret. You know, they're keeping it a secret from both sides. And they have made a promise that they don't tell any, they don't tell each other what they know. They've made it part of their relationship is like, well, what if they let slip, you know, this happens, they'd have to report. They don't talk about work. That is the, the key to their relationship is that they don't tell it, you know, Zoe does not a ask anything about the Infinity League or, and likewise, Manny does not ask what goes on with the society. So that's how they keep their relationship functioning, is that they don't talk about work, because if they do, um, Manny knows if, Man you know, Manny will get, get arrested if he finds out that he leaked information and Zoe used it. But if, if he used information about the society that Zoe has, that means Zoe will get murdered. Z Black Hat and the society will straight up kill her. So he, that's why it's actually Manny was like, we just don't talk about it. You know, we just don't talk about the society or the league. We just talk about us. So that's the, you know, no matter what, they just don't talk about, you know, their respective jobs. Um, their respective groups, excuse me. So there's that. Then we have um, another uh, relationship in here, Pen and Sashi. Pen and Sashi are pretty much the Daredevil and Elektra of this universe. They literally can't keep their hands off of one another. And the two and the two group and the and the uh, couple usually train uh, together and are you know Sashi's more of the extreme, but Pen is all is like kind of like keeping her on a leash in a sense. So there's that. So Pen and Sashi are uh, are in this relation are in a relationship in here. Um, how that relationship will play in future stories, mm, I don't want to say of how that will go down. We also have. Um, we also have, here's a shocker, and this is going to turn some heads. Yeah, Yumi and Ulrich are not in a relationship. Yumi and Ulrich from, Col uh, from Code Lyoko are not in a relationship in this universe. Why? Because, and I've talked about this before, and a lot of you guys agree with me on this, is that, yeah, they are so fucking toxic for one another. It's not even funny. They are so fucking toxic um, for one another that, um, it's not even fun. Like, you go out and watch that entire show, and they go like, uh, will they, won't they, will they, won't they, and it's like, yeah, they, they better not, because they're kind of really terrible for one another. Um, uh, yeah. So that was the big thing, is that I was talking to Jason one night, I was like, I kind of don't like the idea of, um, um, I don't like the idea of, um, what was it? 
uh, of uh, Ulrich and Yumi together, and he's like, you know what, me neither. Do you have an idea of who we could put together with, um, with Ulrich and Yumi? I was like, I don't really have one for Yumi, but how about we have Sissy and Ulrich together? So yes, Sissy and Ulrich are together, because I've talked about this before, while I don't hate people who ship Yumi and Ulrich, um, and I have a soft spot for it too, but I will admit that they are so toxic for one another, um, Sissy kind of brings out the good in Ulrich. I know that sounds really weird, but if you go back and watch the show, like, especially in the later seasons, they are really good for one another. They are totally good for, like, they both have, like, an understanding. They're both, like, they do have, are at odds at points, but not to the level of, like, Sissy and, I mean, excuse me, Yumi is with Ulrich. So, yeah. Ulrich and Sissy are in a relationship in this universe. Yumi? not going to say if she's in a going to be in a relationship or not. Also, Jeremy and Jeremy and Ailita, they're together. You know, no surprise there. Jeremy and Ailita are in, together in this universe. So are Mabel and Pacifica. That's right. Mabel and Pacifica are in a relationship in this universe. Pacifica is not a member of the Infinity League, but I've, we've got something planned for her of what's going to be in her future. Um, so yeah, there is that relationship. We also have, of course, Stephen and Connie. You know, Stephen and Connie are the relate. You know, another relationship that we. Uh, you know, that was just kind of a thing that you know that's a given. You know, Stephen and Connie um, in a relationship that just is you know is obvious. So there you go. Anyway, so there are some other relationships I want to uh, you know that we do have in mind, but we're not. I'm not going to bring up here because I don't want to spoil it. So yeah. So you guys tell me in the comments below, what do you guys think of these relationships in the Infinity-verse? Keep in mind, we're not going to change these relationships. These are our ships because this is our fanfiction. So, yeah. And keep in mind, guys, it's all just fanfiction. That's all this is, is just fanfiction. If you don't like these ships, that's totally fine. I'm not, you know, no ill will against you. I'm just saying, these are the ships that you're going to see in the Infinity-verse. Um, so yeah, and again, sorry we're holding, you know, life just keeps kicking us while we're down. That's all I gotta say about that. But yeah, once again, just comment below, let us know what you guys think of these relationships. Really curious to see what you guys have to say about this. And if you're curious, I will leave a link, be a link in the description below so you guys can read the New Frontier, which is the first story of the Infinity Verse. But until next time, see you later.